What's up everyone? So in this video, uh, I'm going to be playing some of the games that you guys made using my tutorial. Um, and really, uh, I like I like seeing you guys make games. Um, it doesn't have to be through my tutorial, but I just love seeing people use Scratch because I personally love Scratch. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first one is Kill Them All by Clark Louie. Uh, I, hope you said I hope I said your name right. Um, basically, it's based off the dungeon game tutorial. So you can see, uh, I like, I really like the art, but you can uh, see, like you can swing your sword, uh, you can move around using the arrow keys, and then there's the start button right here, and then the enemies. I really love the enemies, uh, I like how they look, and then, yeah, so he doesn't have it where it's 5 per round, but it's 2, so this should be 4. Yeah, this is 4. And then, yeah, so, uh, honestly, it's a really good game, uh, I actually kind of want to see what the other swords look like, and uh, I wonder when you unlock them, so we're actually going to check them out. And uh, I might look into the like inside the code of these games because I, I want to see how you guys did, you know. And I also uh, don't want to make this video too long. I like to keep my videos under 10 minutes so you guys know I'm not just doing it for revenue or anything because uh, I can't even get revenue even if I wanted to. But yeah, okay. So first we're doing these. Sorry if I sound weird. Uh, I kind of I'm, I'm sick. It's not like you know the virus, but it's it's just a cold. Uh, yeah. Alright, so basically we're just gonna try to see, uh, pretty sure I've set it to round 7 in the tutorial is when- Oh, okay, so he has it round 5. Alright, so now here we have the new sword, uh, I actually like how it looks. Um, and then we're gonna try to see what the other one looks like. I think he's gonna- I think he set it to round 10, honestly. I don't know, I, this is my first time playing the game, besides like a few test runs where I got to round 4. Um, and yeah, and also there's tons of other games, um, Okay, not tons. Uh, I told you guys to give me your link. Uh, only three people gave me their links, which is, this is one. And then the rest are all the Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, which I would like to say thank you all for the support. Those videos, one, the first tutorial is almost at 2,000 views. Is at 1.7, which is crazy. 1.7k views. I would have never expected that. And then the other one, the second one is at 1.2k uh, views, which is honestly insane. I would never, I would never have imagined this much growth. Uh, also, at 1k subs, or not 1k subs, at 100 subs, uh, I'm gonna do a special, which is probably gonna be like a challenge, like trying to make a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game in under, uh, like, an hour, because, um, you guys are the reason I am where I'm at right now, and the whole reason is mostly because of the Five Nights at Freddy's tutorials, because, uh, you know, they're the ones that brought in all the people, uh, <clears throat> 2,000 views, yeah, so, um, Honestly, I, w I never thought I would see this growth. Just thank you guys. Sorry for all the, um, like, emotional parts. So if you want to just skip straight to the FNAF games, you can just cut forward a little bit. Uh, because, like, come on now. This could have been the 100,000 or 100 sub special, uh, but we're not doing that quite yet. I'm just waiting until we unlock the third sword, and then I'm going to go into the next game. So I think the third sword is going to be after this round, most likely. Uh... Yeah, and we've been playing this game for three minutes already, which is me just talking while well, <laughs> staying right here clicking this. That's not how this game is supposed to be played, though. It's like, uh, this is a pretty basic AI. Honestly, you could use this for zombies or something, but uh, I like how this guy, I like how um, it feels like a dungeon game. And honestly, I really love the art. Uh, that's one of my main things. Hold up. Uh, I did take damage, and my health did go down. Wait. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay, you know what, we're gonna stop this, it's been already 3 minutes, and uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's games are gonna take a long time. So let's look at the code. Alright, let's see what the weapon looks like, the final weapon. Oh, I wish we had that. Um, so there's the twig, and then all of these. Let's see. Ooh, he copied the thing to a T, I actually like that. Okay, um, let me check out the art. Okay, okay, uh, okay. So basically just a simple tile map, pretty cool, uh, I like that a lot. Okay, so now we're going to get into the next game, which is just ignore them. So let me pull it up, close that, leave. Okay, just ignore them. Uh, this is my first time playing the game, okay? Tutorial by at the Wixer. Like and favorite, ooh, I forgot to uh, like and favorite the other one. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, okay, so there we go, this one's made by Fireboy Official, just ignore them. Uh, now nah, fan game. Alright. Uh, let's get into this. Alright, sorry for the sniffling, guys. I'm just really sick right now. Uh, what, why, why is this here? Do I, I'm gonna go inside and hide this, because I don't think... I, I feel like it's not supposed to be there. It's not, okay. See, project page. Alright, perfect. 
this game. Okay, as soon as I die, by the way, on these Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, I'm leaving. Unless it's, like, right off the bat. Alright, I see he used the advanced thing, and he has the jump scares, which makes it good for Scratch. Because if you don't have that toggle, uh, Scratch can take down your games. So, good on him for using that. Uh, and I really like how the scrolling background works. I like how it looks, uh, perfect, and he did the things, too. Daddy, right. Daddy, tell me a story! Okay, okay. Man on the hill. Buddy. What story would you like me to tell? Tell the spooky story about the man on the hill. All right. Uh, if this is too there long, once I... was a man who lived on a hill. During the day, he would sit oh so still. The town All folk right. would I'm say skip this, that but if, if you he want gets to... mad, he right. would scold you, and you'd feel very, oh, very sad. You can't skip it. Okay. But when everyone was sleeping in bed. While sleeping in bed, resting their heads, he would go to his workshop and there he kept toys that during the day, they slept. The toys were short, the toys were tall, the toys would be large, some would be small. But one day when he went to his down, he saw the toys were nowhere to be found. So watch where you sleep, watch where you go, watch who you are and those who you know. Because when you rest and rest your eyes, the toys might find you and tell you. Bye bye. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. Ooh, I like the office. So he did the thing with the desk, and I actually like how it looks. Zap. Oh, he has all the buttons here. The zap. Okay, I like the animation. I like that. What does this do? Okay, I have no idea what that does, and I don't know. What, I think that's the power bar. All right, let's look at cams. Oh, there's no audio, which. Kind of makes this feel weird, uh, and I can't switch the cams for some reason. Oh, it's because I was pressing S. What? Okay. Um. We're gonna go inside the code and fix this, um, game. Because I actually really want to play this. It looks interesting. Actually, no, this is what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna... We're gonna play this, but with no cams, and see how long we can last. So, uh, is there, there's probably like a way to turn around or something. Okay, no there's not. So far this game actually looks really good. Uh, I like the art. Uh, I, I especially love the zap, how it all like... Yeah, I love that. Uh, maybe I'm just doing this wrong? It's probably because of the static. Um, so we're actually just gonna come in here, and let's make sure the static isn't important. Okay, good, it's not. So, we're gonna delete it. Okay. And now we should be able to change. Perfect! So, he's actually here. And there's only one, which is weird. Yeah, okay, so I really... It feels weird how there's no sound. Um, overall, pretty solid game. Uh, I like it. I'd rate it a, a 5 out of 10. 6 out of 10, actually. Um, uh, oh, whoa, that's where I'm at. Oh, he moved. He moved. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's climbing into this vent, which means he's going to appear on the right. Um, so overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid game. Uh, I like, oh, that's the timer. And then is this the, like, power? I, I can't zap. Or, okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It's a really solid game. Um, yeah, I, I like this. Uh. I'm just gonna speed it up because, you know, um, we still have another game to do, and I don't want this video to- Oh, it's gonna be over 10 minutes, but I don't really want it to be, um, by that much. So, yeah, we're gonna go to the time variable, or the time one. Okay, uh, we're gonna actually do wait 10 seconds. So it changes faster, um, and then we're also gonna change the, uh, AI. Oh, wait. Oops. I didn't mean to change the time. I meant to change the AI. My fault. The AI. And he moved. I heard the audio cue. Okay. Now we're going to change. Actually, we're not going to change this. Okay, maybe we might. Uh, this is quite long. Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to discredit your game. I'm just, I'm just changing this uh, for the sake of the tutorial. Or not tutorial. For the video. Because, um... I want this video to be at least under 20 minutes, um, cause, where did he go? Where, where did he go? Okay, he moved back. 
So, I think it reset him. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. It's a great game. I actually really like it. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the next game. Um, so, uh, I just really want to see the jump scare. So, office stages. So, one, two, three. Okay, where is he at right now? He should be right here, right? Okay, uh, we're actually going to let him get us. Because it's inevitably be, the video is going to be over. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze, I had to mute my mic. Uh, video is inevitably, inevitably going to be over 5 minutes, you can't do it. What is, it? why doesn't this app do anything? Uh, yo, that was, okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, um, I like this game, uh, I rated a 7, 6, 6 out of 10, 6 and a half. Uh, the game is Just Ignore Them by Fireboy Official. Uh, a solid game. And now we're gonna move on to the game five or three nights at Ro Roto's. Uh, credit, nice, thank you. Uh, you don't have to credit me, guys. I'm honestly just a tutorial person. You don't really have to credit me at all. Uh, tons of comments. Uh, I commented. Okay, so let's hop into this game. Um, sorry if you hear some background noise. My parents are watching a movie because yes, I am with my parents. Okay. Uh, this game contains. Okay, this is the same. Ooh. Okay. I see this. The sliding. The the new game. The continue. Okay. Jump scares on and off. I'm gonna put jump scares on. I like jump scares. Uh, new game. Ro Roto's place. Roto's place now open. Apply now. Where to click it? Night one. Okay, good. Ooh. Okay, so that's the thing. This is um going the opposite way, which tells me there's. A bug um it's, it's so really what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to go with it so if my mouse was over here the office should be over there too but it's okay it doesn't really discredit the game uh let's see cam one he's here and okay there's two both of them are here there. And the ones there the camera noise the camera switch noise is really loud but it's okay it's, it's it doesn't really uh change anything okay uh, everything really works. Um, it covers the flash though, which could be a problem. The doors. Nice. Uh, this blue guy is bugged, but it's okay. Um, it's uh, nothing as simple. Some few simple changes can fix. Where's the camera button? Oh, there it is. Okay. So far, this game's really solid. I actually like it. Um, and to keep the video under 15 minutes, I think I'm gonna have to stop now. But uh, honestly, I really like the games. Uh, my favorite, I would have to say, is the Kill Them All, mostly because um, I don't know. Uh, I just like it a lot. Uh, I like the dungeon games better than FNAF games because um, they're just more fun, in my opinion, because you're not just standing there waiting. It's not reactive, it's like proactive, I would say. So yeah, sorry if you hear a tissue. Again, I'm sick, it's not the the virus. Okay, so, it's a really solid game, Three Nights at Robo Rotos. I like it. Uh, I rated a 7 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Um, rock on FNAF, you rock on. Three nights at Rodos. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and we're all so close to 100. So whenever I do reach 100, I'm gonna make a video. Um, it's most likely gonna be a challenge video where I try to make a game in under uh, like an hour. And then yeah, so I'll see you all later, guys. Thanks for watching.